This is Dr. Grower, Superintendent of Grand Island Public Schools. This is a year like no other. However, because of our amazing students, staff, and parents, we have been able to continue our mission of every student, every day, a success. And for that reason, we're gonna kick off a new series called The Heartbeat with Dr. Grover. Because you, students, teachers, and parents, you are the engine that makes all things go. So let's get started here at Seatland Mile Elementary. Well, hello, Ms. Sears. How are you today? I am good, thank you. Well, I am excited to talk to you and Manasek. I'm gonna start with you. I understand that you have been teaching at Seatland Mile for about two years now. And I got a chance to observe your class a little bit and I could tell you have a true love for reading. It's my understanding that a story, and I happened to get a copy um, of the book here, 14 Cows for America. So this story, you were reading this story in your classroom and actually it led to a heartfelt story of one of your students. And I wanna learn more about that today. I always go to the Literacy Festival every year in Plum Creek um, at Seward, Nebraska. And one year I went, it was 2015, I went to see Cameron, Carmen Akraditi, uh, who's the author of the story. And I got to listen to her um, speak that day. And she was telling stories about growing up in Cuba and how um, certain people come into your life and you just know that that story is meant for them. And so after the talk, we got to have the book signed. And at the time, I normally have it signed to me, but at the time I decided to just let her sign it because I felt like perhaps someday I'd meet somebody that would need the story more than I did. Uh, we read a classroom book a day. And so I was reading it that day and I said, um, the town, the country, and all the different things that were in the story. And every time I read a page, Manasik said, I can relate to that. When she started to read this book and she said, like something, it was in Kenya, I'm just like, oh, that's where I'm born. And then she started to get into details that I can relate to. And those details actually connected to my life when I was back in Africa. I teared up. I had a really hard time finishing the story because um, there was just... The story itself is difficult to read because it's about 9-11 and how a village ended up giving 14 cows to America just to um, celebrate uh, American life after a, a very serious tragedy. And so it's hard to read that book anyway. I've read it every year that I've been teaching and I just couldn't believe all the different things that she was saying. Oh, I, I've been to that place. Like when he was talking about being in California, she had been to that same place and just so many different connections. Like we were immigrants going to America and we had a lot of respect for America because we have a lot of jobs providing for people because back in Africa, we had nothing. So we came for America to look for jobs, to have a better living. We had nothing, but there were some people that helped us get to Lagoon and get used to America and stuff. And that's when we heard the two towers and stuff when we were back in Africa. So we had a lot of respect. We were sorry for them. Ms. Sears, um, how does it make you feel um, to think about how your teaching, how it really gets to the heart of your students? I'm just really thankful that Manasik's in my class because I've learned so much from her. She was the funniest and most loveliest teacher ever. And it was actually so great. She's my fifth grade teacher now because she's the one that actually makes a lot of connections with since I love reading. How do you think about your future? I actually want to start helping people that feel like they're nothing. They actually feel like there's something and like change something in them. Or I want to be a doctor to help people in need because 9-11, all people that passed away or were hurt just touched me. So I feel like I could make a change in my job I want to be when I grow up to help people in need. There were so many great parts um, in the book that talked about the kindness, and I heard you say a lot about how much you want to show respect for America. And in turn, 
you were able to show respect for her homeland and Manasek's culture, which is it's just beautiful. And we're very fortunate to know this is what happens in Grand Island Public Schools. Now, oftentimes we talk about making sure that our students, they can see themselves in our instruction, in our materials. And this story with Manasek today, it demonstrates that our teachers, they see our students um, in such a personable and powerful way. And I was just overwhelmed by Manasek's journey, um, as well as her outlook on life. This is who we are in Grand Island Public Schools. And it shows that our students, our teachers, and our staff, they're the heartbeat of Grand Island Public Schools. I'm very thankful for Ms. Sears and her intuitiveness to be able to connect with her students. It was a simple story, a routine that she has every day that actually, it peeled back, it peeled back layers that we can go deeper into understanding our students, which makes our impact just that much greater.